further to the release of our Beyond Recruitment Economic and Labour Report in July, and as part of our Beyond Recruitment Leadership Series, we're sitting down with Shamabil Yaqub, one of New Zealand's leading economists, to talk about the new government's policies and the impact that these will have on employers, employees and employment practices as a whole. Hi Shamabil, one of the things that we know um, the, gov the new government will be doing is um, clamping down on foreign investment. What are your thoughts there? as to how this will impact New Zealand, the economy, employment in general? So we know that this government is going to clamp down on foreign investment, mostly in the residential property sector side. Um, but it's likely to move also into farms and those kinds of things. We don't know the full details of it yet, but I don't think it's going to have a huge impact on the economy as a whole. So we don't have great data on this, but best estimate probably about 10% of house sales in Auckland are to foreigners. So even if that money disappears, I don't think that's going to be the major driver of what's happening in the economy. In terms of what's happening in the wider economy, the foreign investment that comes in that helps New Zealand businesses export, connect up to global supply chains, that might be a little bit tougher. And that impact is likely to unfold over time and be much more visible in the rural sector in New Zealand, which has been quite a big beneficiary of foreign investment that has also come with very strong supply chain links into Asia and to other parts of the world. So that'll affect um, agriculture, those sorts of sectors? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to tell how big an impact FDI has had on our export growth. Um, because New Zealand is a price taker for a lot of our commodities, it's not always clear in terms of what the full potential impact of FDI is. Generally speaking, we expect FDI to be quite good for New Zealand because it's not just money, it's also expertise and connections that comes with it. Now, because of the restrictions that are likely to come, we may not see as much money coming into New Zealand. As a result, we may not have as much depth of relationship with the rest of the world as we do currently. But I think the impact again is going to be at the, at the margin rather than large impacts. And it's going to be very much about specific businesses and specific sectors that are going to be affected. Do you think we'll see money moving out of New Zealand, money that was originally brought in? I don't think money is going to leave New Zealand. Um, I don't expect these policies to be uh, retrospective. Um, it will not penalise people who have already invested. But I think what we will see is essentially people hunkering down on not making many changes from what we have already seen. Thanks, Shamobil. Appreciate that.